Oh, what was that? Car, are you oh, in? sorry. I think I'm losing my bat signal on my bat phone. That's right. My bat signal's a little weak. So I think I might have to uh, move to a different area to get better bat reception. I'm in the Batmobile. And this is one, uh, it is the original Batmobile from all those 1960s uh, television shows. The bam, wow, pow, thwack. Right, Mike? Are you afraid yeah. I'm going to hit you? You're standing like, Look a bam, little bit, a little bit nervous thwack, pow. I mean, that's this yep. vehicle really, like we were talking about, put customization kind of on the map for people. I mean, this is originally George Barris, when he built this car, it took and opened the door for customization. It made it mainstream. And you can look at this car, and it, and it is very cool in the fact that you look at some of the stuff, and it's futuristic. You know, it's got a little GPS on the other <laughs> side. It's It's got a, a bat phone in it. Right. What else could you ask for? It, it's, it's pretty neat, and the detail orientated. And when you keep in mind, this was customized in the 60s, and so the things that they thought of were really fantastic. Well, and you would have to think that, because in the 60s, none of this stuff you know, who would have thought we'd be carrying a phone around in our cars? Right, or in our pockets. Right. <laughs> really cool. And this isn't the only superstar vehicle. Of course, it's probably going to be the most popular. I bet you have big crowds around that one. But these little miniatures, these are kind of fascinating. Yeah, they, they were something that they created back in the 60s and early 70s just to kind of promote the sport because they're small enough where you can move them around. And they're cool enough to where they get attention and people can look at it. Hey, we're look at this. We're, we're walking over to the General Lee. This is another car from uh, the movie series, General the um, the Dukes of Hazard. So so it's something that's very cool. We, now this isn't the exact car, but we did see that Dukes of Hazard jump on Friday, and that car is here at Autorama. If you come on by, you can see it in person, or if you tune back in at eight o'clock, we'll show it to you. You'll see what's left of it anyway after that incredible jump. And today opens at 10 a.m. Yep. Goes, goes through eight o'clock tonight and it's this is our 65th anniversary for the autorama so in this display here we have a bunch of cars that have, have taken and, and spanned the decades of autorama it's a great show i mean there's something here for everybody we've got some um, tv stars coming out sign autographs Ooh. i think rick from uh, pawn stars is going to be here and sky jackson from uh, disney channel is going to be here it's going to be a great show. We're wrapping it up today. It's been an awesome weekend. The jump was awesome on Friday. If you missed that, and tonight, it's a shame. that big uh, award, the Riddler Award, is going to be awarded tonight. So, you guys, a lot of reasons to come on by, check it out. Cobo Hall, the Autorama, and uh, I don't know, maybe <laughs> if I'm really polite and nice, you'll let me take that one for a jump. I think we could arrange that. Oh, for you. For wow. any, anybody else, nice. maybe not, yeah. but for you, oh my gosh. I, think, I think we'll just You just, just made to, my I'll, morning. I'll distract the owner. And <laughs> you just made my morning. <laughs> Back to you. Nicely done there, Jennifer. Absolutely. Ann, right? <laughs>